Hopefully, Kevin, I've seen some tweets of Mexican food. What can you tell us about? Well, that was room service. Uh, oh. <laughs> so, uh, what I had, the food? we got in last night, so I, I, was, I wasn't able to join them for dinner, but uh, I think we, we're going out tonight. We are. We are yeah. going out tonight. I don't know where, but um, the room service at the same region is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I would like to start this press conference by asking each one of you, which was your most good book? What was your first encounter with the search of your notebooks before uh, being cast, or how did you happen? Well, um, I actually got introduced to the Warriors Mints by a uh, casting call. So uh, I was filming in China back then, and uh, I was introduced to Magnus Bay, and I was very interested in this character in the whole series. So um, I went to uh, purchase the books myself in Asia, and uh, it, it was really hard to find, by the way. And uh, I just read the books, and I became a fan of it. And here I am doing a press interview in Mexico. So it's a really good opportunity for me, and um, I just love the whole series, and the movie's awesome. Uh, I, um, I was also filming something else uh, in Canada, and um, I, I read the script about a year before or prior. Um, the film took a while to make. Uh, a few years, I think, um, from now, yeah, for Lily. So, um, I just, I met with Carol, and we read a scene I threw in, um, and it, it happened very quickly. Um, I hadn't read the books, uh, I literally just had time to read the script from the plane. Um, but before we started shooting, I, I read uh, the first book, and um, have subsequently, we're shooting the second film in, in three weeks. Yes, sir. Um, so, uh, so I've now read the second book, and uh, we should be getting a script today or tomorrow, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yeah. So um, that was my that was my introduction to uh, to this world. But I had no idea how popular the books were. Um, I was just I just sort of read it as a script, and I wanted to work with uh, both the institute uh, and the sort of two that were cast uh, when I was uh, when I was cast. That's it. I was in Los Angeles two and a half years ago uh, for pilot season, doing rounds as one does. Um, and I got a phone call asking if I would like to go in an audition for a film called The Mortal Instruments. So I said, absolutely. I got the sides. And the sides mentioned this character, Jace, and they just it described him as a cross between Jim Morrison and Spider Man. And I was immediately drawn to it. I was like, I love this. This is awesome. Um, I didn't really expect anything. Like, I sort of expected a no, as you always do in these things. So, I sort of just left it. And then I got a call saying that they'd like me to go and camera test with uh, Miss Collins next to me. So, upon getting that phone call, I, I read the first three books. I uh, immersed myself in the world. Again, left Los Angeles. Just was like, you know, that was amazing. I had a great time. Whatever happens, happens. Didn't really expect anything. And then a week later, I get a phone call saying that I've got it. And I thought it was a bad joke. Um, but it turns out it wasn't a bad joke. And I'm, here I am. It was a great joke. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. And that was two and a half years ago. I was a huge fan of books before I was cast. Um, I found one of the series in the bookshop, read it, became obsessed, and heard they were making it into a movie. So I made phone calls and emails to my agents asking how to get involved. And um, it actually turned out that they, they approached me about the role. So it kind of organically happened. So I didn't have to audition, um, which is a weird thing, because it's very lovely. Um, <laughs> very lovely, but very strange. Um, yeah, that was three years ago, so it's been a labor of love for three years. And then um, had auditions with J Jamie, or Jace's, and Simon's, and um, kind of went from there. But it's been a long time. All right. Vamos a la primera pregunta de los que... Por acá, de Entiendo que tú eras fan de la saga, tú conoces a todos los personajes femeninos. ¿Qué otro personaje te hubiera gustado interpretar? Gracias. Um, 
very happy with Clary. <laughs> um, I, I, yeah, I don't, I didn't read the books thinking that I would ever even play Clary, so I never envisioned myself um, playing a character when I read books. So, I guess after finding out they were making it into a movie, I couldn't really see myself as anyone but Clary, and if I wasn't cast as Clary, then that was totally fine. I, 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 I don't know, I, I associate a lot of characteristics with Clary and myself, and there were a lot of things that I felt I could learn from her. But I've always said that um, if they were to allow me to play a guy, I'd like to play Magnus. <laughs> but Godfrey obviously plays it way better than I ever would. Muy bien, la siguiente pregunta es aquí adelante.